Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. My name is Sky and I am on a quest to invest. And today we're going to be talking all about Neo stock. So we've sort of got seven major Neo events upcoming and a lot of them are, uh, almost half of them really, are coming to reality. And these seven Neo major events will move the stock up for sustained momentum. Everything else, monthly deliveries, earnings, news of future plans and partnership, you know, Neo day fluff events, they don't really move the trajectory much, but these seven events will have the biggest impact. So without further ado, what are they? One, we've got positive EPS. Two, JAC factory at full capacity. Three, Neopark mega factory, once, once that'll be up and running. Four, we've got the ET7 and ET5 selling in Europe and China. Five, listings on the um, Hong Kong and China exchanges, six mass market vehicle selling in China, and seven, the world realizing that Neo Swap is game changing, is absolutely brilliant. And uh, just to talk about the Neo Swap, you know, because I think some people don't, you know, get the battery as a service properly. You know, they don't really understand it and they think it's kind of this uh, you know, buzzword. But the truth is those people have probably never had an electric vehicle. Uh, it's a painful waste of time to charge an electric vehicle. Charging is only okay in a house garage. If you don't have overnight charging ability, battery as a service is the way forward. Uh, Neo's 150 kWh battery pack features not only a semi-solid state battery solution, but also ultra high nickel technology. And the supplier of the latter is likely to be uh, CATL according to a report. In a conference call following the release of its third quarter earnings last November 10th, Lee said Neo's 150k WH battery was still on track to be available in the fourth quarter of 2022 as planned. You know, once the ET7 that is currently in production is on the roads, in the hands of proud owners, you know, that would be the best advertising for the Neo brand. Things are really starting to come together. The rest of the world is always a bit slow to catch on. If we talk about the auto industry in general, it's on track to invest half a trillion dollars in the next five years to make the transition to electric vehicles. That money will be spent to refit and build factories, train workers, write software, upgrade dealerships, and more. Companies are planning more than a dozen new electric car and battery factors just in the United States. Scott Kyo, who is the chief executive of Volkswagen Group of America, he said, it's one of the biggest industrial transformations probably in the history of capitalism. The investments are massive and the mission is massive. CITIC Securities says that NEO is severely undervalued and actually calls for new valuation metrics. That's the same for Xpeng and Li Auto. He said the same about those two. Despite very strong fundamentals, leading Chinese electric vehicle companies like NEO, Xpeng Motors and Li Auto have performed rather poorly in the stock market over the past year. CITIC, I guess it's CITIC Securities, uh, in their view, this is highly unreasonable. Uh, in a research note released today, CITIC Securities analyst Yin Zingchi's team argues that the fundamentals and stock price performance of these three new car makers have diverged badly in 2021 due to a systematic correction in the stock prices of Chinese companies listed outside China. They are currently in an accelerating period of improving profitability with large research and development investments causing them to remain at strategic losses in the near term, but rising gross profit per vehicle has shown their ability to approach the break-even point in the future, the team said. In the context of tightening liquidity, the PS valuation system is being questioned. We are proposing a comparable valuation of car companies using a market cap gross profit valuation approach and believe that all three of these EV companies are currently at very attractive valuations. Since the three new car makers are not yet profitable, the capital market is mainly using a PS valuation system for them. So yeah, that is something to consider as well. So yeah, I'm very excited for the launch of the ET7, which is the first electric sedan in March, and the smaller and more affordable ET5 in September. Neo CEO William Lee sees the ET7 as a rival to Tesla's Model S. 
uh, and the ET5, a purported rival to the Model 3 as a potential growth driver. And these upcoming electric sedans will help NEO grow annual deliveries by 64% in 2022. I mean, 2022 is just going to be a huge year for NEO. That's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, have a great day.